Hi guys, I'm just going to invite some people along, see if anybody wants to watch along with me. Bear with me just a second while I invite a couple of people. See if anybody wants to watch along with me. Just sending out a few invites. Do, 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 do. Hi guys. Say hello if you're there. Hi Becky. <laughs> Hi Ash. <laughs> Are you going to watch my tutorial? Hi everybody! Hi Jess! Hi Anita! Hi Laura! Hey, there's quite a few of you joining! Hi! <laughs> there's a little person at the bottom of your video with a little plus sign and you click on that and then it then it gives you a list of all your friends so you can add people as and when so yeah, I'm just going to wait about 20 seconds, just see if anyone wants to join and then I'll get started showing you this beautiful eye look. Oh, thanks for sharing, Becky. Oh. <laughs> right, we've got a, quite, a few people watching, so... Today's tutorial is on, well I say it's a demo because I'm, I'm not a qualified makeup artist, this is just my personal, personal looks. Oh, thank you Anita. This is on palette 4, as voted by you guys. This is probably the most scary because to me, <laughs> hi Helen, you're watching my first video. Because because these three colours don't really go with these. Hi Pen. Oh, do you know why I had my settings on as hidden? No wonder nobody could find me. So yes, we're going to show these three colours naturally don't go with these, and it's a little bit intimidating to put these colours together. But it is really really pretty. Oh, thanks Jess for sharing. Hi Emma. So I'm going to show you how to get this. It's almost like an Egyptian. It reminds me of an Egyptian eye, sort of with the gold and the blues. So I'm going to show you how to do that on this, this eye. If you can see my eyes a little bit white, I've used my white eyeliner just to create a base because I really want that blue to pop. So, as always, first thing we do is use a primer. Tiny little bit, as you can see. And we're just going to pat that all over his eye. And this will give, this will make your colour more vibrant and it will prevent your eyeshadow from creasing. Ash, I can't see what I'm doing with all the love, <laughs> all the love hearts going across. So we're just going to wait a minute for that to dry and then as always just use whatever powder you've set your face with and we're just going to just set that powder. And as I said, this will just make the colours pop just a little bit more. So now that we've got our primer on and we've set that in place, we're just going to take, as always, our trusted fluffy brush. Hi Layla, thanks for joining. I'm doing palette four to create this look. So, first off, what we're going to how this look goes is top to bottom if that makes sense so we're going to take this color here why set it because obviously the primer is wet so if you put um, a powder onto obviously the wet it will just stick and it'll be so difficult to blend you can do that and it's good if you're using cream eyeshadows but if you're using powder it's best to have a powder base so put your put your primer on set it and then you can go then you can go over so yes, we're going to use this colour here, it's the second one in, and it's like a cool tone brown, and it's called Arrogant. 
So we're just going to just dip into that very lightly, tap off the excess and we're just going to run this just above our crease and going up. So you want to sort of go round and round to blend and back and forth. So round and round and windscreen wiper. You don't, you, I would definitely, I would definitely suggest having the primer, but you don't need, you don't need this particular one, but it is a really good primer. Um, you can actually use a concealer. If you use concealer normally, you can use a concealer as a base and that will make your colour pop a little bit. <laughs> I beg it. But yeah, if you if you no, use a normal primer on your face, you can use it on your eyes as well. I would suggest using a primer to do your normal makeup. Um, as I said, it, it creates a really nice base, it blurs out your pores, and it makes your makeup last just a little bit longer, especially if you've got oh, sorry, especially if you've got oily skin like me, it will stop your your makeup sort of from falling off your face. So it is really good and this this particular primer you need the tiniest amount and it will last about a year so it's definitely worth getting it's a silicon based primer so it's, it's good for all skin types so we're just creating this sort of transition shade and as you can see it will just create this sort of almost shadow effect I'm saying my mirror's just here, so if I keep looking up, that's all I'm doing. The primer is um, £30. Now, as I said, it sounds like a lot, but it will last, like, nearly a year. You need a pea size amount to cover your entire face. So it's definitely worth getting. But I do have one on offer, hell, if you do want one. Let me know and I'll message you. Never heard of a primer product before. Really? Um, yeah. It's, I don't know how people did makeup without primers now. It, it just makes so much difference. So all we've done is just created that little sort of halo. And said so the key to this is just little and blend. And you want to be able to see it when you open your eyes. I've got quite hooded eyes, so I always go quite a bit above, almost to sort of my brow, my brow bone. And so, always blend. If in doubt, blend it out. And then, we're going to take this colour, and it's called Secretive. It's a really nice shimmer gold. And this is just going to be, I'm just going to sort of swirl my brush in there, tap off the excess. And this is just going to go in our crease and a little bit above because the gold is not the main focus of the eye but it really sets off the blue so as you can see it's hard to see in some lights but you can see it nobody primer it's going to be a good one until I use the unique one it won't be like that yeah it's it's it is amazing. I mean, I used to use the um, Smashbox one. I think Smashbox were the first ever uh, silicon primer on the market, and everybody went mad for it. It was absolutely amazing. But this, I, I actually prefer this because you need such a tiny amount for it. You don't need to pile it on as you do with some primers. And that Smashbox one used to sort of give me a bit of oily skin. Even though it said it combats oil, it, it it didn't. Not for me anyway. So yeah. All we've done is taken the gold up into the brown. <clears throat> and this is going to act as our transition colour. A transition colour is a colour in between two others to help blend. And it's usually a pale mid-tone colour for your eye. But you can use whatever colour you want. So now that we've done that. We are just going to take, right, as I get my trusty old dense flat brush, and we're going to take 
uh, this colour here. Am I using this colour? No, sorry. <laughs> this colour here, which is called Cheerful, and it's a really nice sort of teal blue. Turquoise teal. I'm not sure what you'd call it. And we're just going to dip that in, and we're just going to pack that on all over our eyelid. As you can see, it's so pigmented. And it's not sort of a, it's not a scary blue. Now there's supposed to be a rule that if you've got blue eyes, you shouldn't you shouldn't wear blue. But I think I'm getting away with this one because it's got these sort of neutrals and golds which set off a blue eye. If you didn't already know that, I think it really goes well. So we're just going to build that up. So we're just going over all over our eyelid, up in up into that gold a little bit. Just to create a lovely, lovely base. So as you can see. <coughs> Excuse me. That's all we've done with that. And the blue just creates a base because now we're going to use this colour, if you can see, Honest. Can't really see because the sun. This third one in and it's sort of a really pale blue shimmer. And it's so pretty. Oh, thank you, Layla. I've just created this, I've just come up with this today, as you can see. I've been experimenting with colours. <laughs> But you never know until you try. So we're just going to go over that blue with this colour, Honest. And it really just makes that, putting that blue underneath it makes this Honest colour just pop that little bit more. Brings out the blue in it rather than silver. Now as I've said you can always wet your brush if you've got shimmers and get a more metallic feel. But I, I quite like it, quite subtle. If you're going out on a night out, the more shimmer the better. I'm just going to pack that on. So it's looking a little bit... Well, it's just a light. Yeah, it's just a light. I thought it was looking a little bit patchy. So as you can see, we've created our two colours. Now all we're going to do is go just dip back into this golden colour. Just ever so lightly, and we're just going to just blend those two colours together. Oh, thank you, Becca. That's really nice of you. And it just sort of blends them two colours together, so you don't get like a harsh line, as you can see. Right, and then next, we are going to take this dark colour, which is called Triumphant. Now, this is so pigmented. Let me use that hand because I'm not using that one. Right, ready? It's ridiculous. This, I don't know where to put that now. <laughs> They're so pigmented, it's ridiculous. So very, very lightly tap and take off the excess. And all we're going to do is darken this corner into sort of a V shape. And it just gives you di dimension to your eye and makes your eye look that little bit wider. So... This stays on all day. Um, the look I did last night, again, no tear, didn't wash it off. Washed my face but left my eye makeup on. And it was still there this morning and I'd slept all night and you, it was really warm last night. Especially if you put that primer on or put a primer on, it really makes that difference. So yeah, all we're going to do is just deepen this outer V of our eye. So we're just going like this, sort of a triangle shape. And it just creates that little bit of shadow and brings that eye up, as you can see. And just tap a little bit more, tap off the excess, so we don't want, don't want any fallout. Anybody still here? Say hello if you're here. Talk to me. 
So is that looking pretty even? And so it it is easy. You say it looks easy. It is easy. It's all about blending. That's having a light. <laughs> Hi, Anita. Thank you. It's all about having a light hand and blending it all together. It, and then you can just build it up until you're satisfied with how it is. Your eyebrows privilege shirt, the real at your eye and makeup. My eyebrows. <laughs> Hi, Donna. Thank you. Um, I had a bit of a nightmare. I'm trying out a new product for my eyebrows. Um, it's a splurge cream eyeshadow. And it's in the colour Proud, which is perfect for my eyes. But I drew this one on. Looking good. This one was like a McDonald's, <laughs> McDonald's sign. So a little bit of concealer. Solved everything. Cleaned it all up. And so it just takes a little bit of practice. I mean, you've probably seen me with no makeup on and I've got no eyebrows. So I have to draw them. So there. There we go. We just darken that little bit up. You can always use your finger or wipe just to clean and get a nice straight line. And then, going back to our brush, make sure it's clean. This colour, Tender, is so pretty. It's like a peachy... Can't see it. There you go. Like a peachy shimmer. It is so pretty. So we're gonna use this. I'm really dipping in. <laughs> yeah, a giant M. That's how my eyebrows tend to look. I'm just gonna use this as a highlighter. It's so pretty and subtle. I'm getting a glare off the windows. I've not even got any sun coming in. Hey Emma. dipping in and then we're going to use it on the inner of our eye and just highlight the inner of our eye which is really pretty then as always we're going to do exactly what we've done on the top along the bottom so back to my dense brush I'm going to take the blue on the outer edge always go up a little bit and it sort of line dry and then into the gold which is called secretive I'm just gonna go across the next bit of our eye blend those two colours together that's it and it just smokes your smokes your bottom eyelash out and just defined your eye. So, I was going to say palette done, but I just want to highlight my cheekbones. I'm just using that tender colour. It's so pretty. Lovely. Right, for my eyeliner this time, I'm using the colour do -do 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 -do, Presumptuous. They've changed the place of the name. And I think I think you showed an interest in this one, Becca. Penny, are you still there? And this is sort of a blue shimmer colour. It's really pretty. And this will just line our lash line and just make our eyes pop that little bit more. So dedication to took you just <laughs> Thanks, Pen. And we're just going to create quite a thick line and just colour in our bottom lash line. There's no wing on this one, I'll let you know, Penna. You'll be pleased to hear. <laughs> this is such a pretty blue. As I said, Becky, I think you showed an interest in this colour and it was really nice. As you can see that. It's so pretty. And so you can, you can bring it up and just create a bit of a V. Just to el elongate your eye. Just like that. So you've just got a little bit over. It's not really a wing as such. And then... Bottom lash line. 
Thanks, Becca. Said, I've been experimenting today, trying to get a nice look. Because I don't want to give you anything too boring, but I don't want to go too adventurous. You can see, just a bottom lash line done. Really ties in that colour. And that is our eye makeup done. And last but not least, lashes. It's got to be. I'm going to show you how to do this every single time so that if you ever do purchase one off me, you know exactly what to do. And you get the best results. Oh, thank you, Donna. I've been experimenting today. It reminds me of sort of an Egyptian eye. Does that make sense? With the gold and the royal blue. Yeah? No? So, we're just going to apply this like a normal mascara and then flick the ends of your lashes make sure you've got all the sort of ends coated as much as possible and then don't mess about and coat them in your fibres and again flick the ends make sure top and bottom are coated and this will really bring out the length is that a pharaoh? yep <laughs> It is a pharaoh. Really pretty colours. Gold and blue. So royal. <laughs> Tutankhamun. So, as that dries, quickly do our bottom lash. And then... One more coat. She can't just stay on one. And flick, 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 flick. Make sure all the tips are coated and not clumped together. Fibres. Uh, flick, 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 flick. And then two seconds for that to dry. And then back to the gel to seal it all in. And make sure none of those very precious fibres come off. And there, my dears, we have it. So, very pretty gold and blue smoky eye. Which is perfect for a night out, for the summer. It looks absolutely beautiful. And as you know, in this deal, any palette of your choosing... See, even the daunting ones, you can create some really pretty looks. Any eye pencil of your choosing. Today I've used blue. I've now used white, black and blue. And the 3D Fibre Lash Mascara to create some amazing eyelashes. I never know if you can see this when I look up. Can't see quick enough. <laughs> And I've even used the eyeshadows on my lips. I've put a little lipstick on, used the brown and then the gold in the middle. It's coming off a little bit, but... So there you go. Any palette, any eye pencil, 3D Fibre Lash Mascara and a free makeup bag, all for £58. Please, 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 if you are interested, get in touch and get it before these start going out of stock. So, as always, thank you for watching so much, guys, and I shall see you very soon, maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday, for the next eye tutorial. So, take care, guys. Bye.